I'm Bruce Yang, and today we're going to take another look at tumbling toys. <laughs> now, in a previous episode, I showed you some examples that go down a ladder. In this case, I'm going to show you some easier ones that simply go down an inclined plane. So let's take a closer look. <laughs> let's start with the ramp. It's made out of heavy stock cardboard which has a material glued to it. If I turn it over, we'll find that there's two long boards that are glued to the cardboard and then a cross piece that's simply going to hook on the top of an empty box and that's going to make our ramp. The first tumbling toy can be made out of regular paper or heavy stock paper. You simply cut out the pattern and fold it along the indicated lines. You would glue part of it together that's going to make it into an envelope. In this case, I'm adding steel ball since it's heavy stock paper. Glue the rest of it. Now I'd like to add a real thin coating of glue to the outside. And then I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of sand on that just to give it a rougher texture. After it dries, that rough texture is going to keep it from sliding down the ramp. This version is made with regular paper and it has two marbles inside. Let's take a look at the first type of tumbling toy in slow motion. Here's our second version. In this case I used clear plastic sheeting. This way we can see the ball moving inside of it. Now let's try it once more in slow motion. In this case, we're going to be able to see the ball very clearly inside and how it causes the toy to tumble. This piece is made from a ping pong ball that was cut in half. Heavy stock paper rolled into the cylinder, the ball is put inside, and it's simply taped together. Here's my third version. Now let's watch this version in slow motion. We can make the tubes different lengths, but as you make them longer, they tend to wander from side to side a little bit more. So they need a wider track. This version is made out of heavy stock paper that's glued into a tube that's slightly larger than the ball that's fitting inside of it. The tube is cut to length. In this case, it's 7 inches. The next step is to cut two thin strips into the tube. They're about 2 and a half inches long. When folded, they'll overlap each other, and all the paper between them is cut away. The thin strips are then folded over to match the curve of the ball. They are glued, and then a rubber band holds them in place while the glue is drying. The glue's dry. Let's see how it works. In some cases, I'll put meter sticks on the ramp just to keep the tumbling toys in a straight path. My favorite variation of the track is actually a long, narrow piece of cardboard that's been made into a shallow box. This I can tilt back and forth. I hope you enjoyed my tumbling toys. Please check out my channel for other homemade science. Okay, thanks for watching.